You're listening to the Valley Labor Report with David Story and Jacob Morrison. Like David mentioned earlier, uh, they are organizing a, a, a group of nurses in Alabama right now, and like he said, they're they're being um, brought into closets one on one with managers, being told horrible things about unionizing and and being intimidated and threatened and. And so, could could you just talk to talk directly to those folks that are uh, that are looking to have a voice on the job uh, here in Alabama? What would you say to them if you were, um, you know, you've got their ear right now? So, what what would you say to them? Sure, Don't nurses, let, listen up, listen up, you. nurses. You're the strongest, most powerful force in the hospital today and throughout our country. You have a voice; it needs to be heard. You are stronger together. You can do this. It'll get ugly. Stay the course. Keep your eyes fixed on that goal. And do not let go because you will transform your area. You'll transform your hospital, your area, and please God, our nation. We can do this, nurses. Don't you give up. And don't listen to the lies. If it gives you a little twinge in your heart, like, whoa, that's a liar. Man, that was evil or that was nasty. That Listen to your discernment. That's right. It was nasty and it's not true. So they want to divide you, and they want to destroy you. Stay together. Don't allow the divide. You can actually walk out of that closet and say, no, thank you, sir. I don't really need to hear what you have to say. That's right. That's right. Just remember, I mean, you know, why are they going through all this? Why are they trying to divide you? You know, the thing is, they don't hire these people and spend this money for no reason. They're doing it for a reason. You have to ask yourself the question, why did they bring these people in and they're not willing to speak to us directly? Once you answer that question, you'll find out the truth. They're trying to divide. It's going to be an economic issue for them, but it's a patient safety issue for you guys. And you have to just keep the patients and the safety at the foremost of the conversation. And don't let them change the dynamics of that. And never forget the rights that you have. Never forget it. They cannot fire you. And you can just fire, you know, you can just send the ULPs to your regional labor board down there. And they don't like um, un- unfair labor practice acts against them. They don't like it. They actually wanted us to rescind some of ours to come to the bargaining table, and we refused to. Yeah. So well, use your power. You have way more than you know. Those ULPs are, are public record and that you can find them on on the national labor relations board's websites and they definitely do not like to be highlighted on those websites correct right yeah and 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 you know you mentioned something about them having union busters and just and you said to just just think about it and and more than that think about the fact that they're telling they're trying to tell you that they don't have enough money to pay you a better salary or to buy you the equipment that you need or to hire enough nurses for you to adequately take care of your patients but they've got enough money to pay thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars to these big union busting attorneys to come and intimidate you you know something's just not right about that that's right. That's right. Yep. 